Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we got regular old Isaac, the good old default D6 child himself Isaac on an XL floor, which is not exactly my favourite to see on the first floor. Um, it's not bad, but I just don't like the risk of losing my devil deal so early, which is... A very, very prominent risk for me because I'm not very good at the game. <laughs> no, I, I seem to be worse on the earlier floors, to be honest. It's kind of an interesting idea for a room, to be honest, though. Um, basically, as the room progresses, these dudes release these spike blocks and make trouble for you, which is kind of interesting. Um, and we get ourselves how to jump 2.0. Do not steal my charge because I think I do want to reroll this. I don't actually know what it does. Let's have a little look see. Oh, the game. Wow. Okay, the game crashed. Oops, one second. Okay, we are back. Let's see if the game actually lets us continue that run. Okay, we're gonna have to replay those rooms by the looks of it. Oh no! Oh no! Our streak is dead. No, it's not. Okay, I'm mean, gonna have to do some streak shenanigans to fix this. One second. Okay, we are back. As you can see, I have edited my win streak to put us back to 33 wins, which is what we we're on before. That That is why we need the uh, the win count editor, just in case we get a crash that lets us not continue, because that's just a very, very horrible way to lose a streak. So, our win streak should be back at 33 now, um, as you saw on the console. We should be good to go. No more XL floor, though, which is uh, slightly cheaty, but obviously nothing I can do about it. Um... And we'll just kind of see how this goes from here. Hopefully that doesn't happen too often, but I think happening only once in 33 runs is not so bad. Not so bad indeed. And we'll see if we can actually have a run here that doesn't crash. I wonder what it was, because it, it was something inside a sack. And that scares me, because that means that every time I open a sack, there's a risk that my game might crash if it pops out a certain thing. I wonder what it was that pops out. Unfortunately, I don't get a crash log or error log of, of what exactly what caused that, so we don't really know at the moment. We're a bit unsure. Let's see what item we've got to start out with. Fast Bombs is definitely a reroll, and Tech Point 5 is much, much better in my opinion. Quite a big damage boost for us here. Um, a good bit of money as well for our potential shop. I would like that quite a lot. As for the question of the day today, are you a sweet or savoury person? And what if whichever is your favourite, so say, say your favourite is sweet, what's your favourite savoury food? And if it's savoury, what's your favourite sweet food? Um, using a card has a 10% chance of granting a mantle, uh, an eternal heart. Okay, goddamn, okay. That's it, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, can we, can we locate a secret room here? That we can, that we can. Lovely. Um, unfortunately not a great secret room, because those chests, while good, can eat quite a bit of HP, and we don't have quite a bit of HP to give right now, so... Not sure how that's going to go. I will indeed take this. I'm going to wait for this to do its thing first. I think two keys is pretty valuable for half a heart, to be honest. And yeah, tech point five here. Absolutely an outstandingly good item. Um, like long range piercing and works alongside our tiers. I think it's actually better for the most part than tech. Although I don't really know how the damage scales with tech point five. I don't know if it scales with your damage or if it's a base level of damage. I think it does scale off your damage though by the, by the feel of it. But either way, good stuff. We get some host on toast as well. Not bad. And uh, secret room we should probably go and take a little look for. Other secret room, that is. We found one of them and it was a little bit of a bust. Uh, we, could, we should also go into the uh, shop as well. See what we got going on in there. Yes, yeah, soul heart here. In fact, let's, um, let's try and open that chest and then buy the soul heart. I'm only going to go down to w one full red heart, so... Unfortunate. Do you know what? Go one more. There you go. Oh, we got cancer out of it? Okay. Game's kind to me. I'm sorry, Eternal Heart thing, but this is just better. Grab that. Okay. That was that was pretty valuable. Getting cancer there. That's why you're min-max, baby. Why you're min-max. And secret room. It's likely to be right here. Nice. Got that as well. And in here we get Activates the meat cleaver effect, splitting all enemies in the room into two smaller versions. Does this actually just like... No, I was wondering if it was going to work on him, but there you go. Uh, let's bomb these two. And we get pet peeve. Nice. And we also get the emperor card for next floor as well. All good stuff right now. All good stuff. I like it. Do you know what? I'm also going to go in here as well. Um... 
and I'm pretty happy that I did. I was going to Emperor card out, but considering I got two Soul Hearts, I'm not going to now. I'm very happy so far. <laughs> this is a very good first floor. This, this is the sort of shit that happens if you min-max. Like, you can get so much good stuff. You've just got to play the game. And by play the game, I don't really mean the game of Isaac. I mean, as in, you've got to game the game. You've got to, you've got to go the extra mile, take those extra steps. And it can be, it can be pretty rewarding. It can be pretty rewarding. i got to say. Now we've got a, a really good start with, um, do you know what we'll start card first? We've got a really good start with... This... Do I not have an item room this floor? What just happened? Or is that something that can happen with, uh, with Curse of the Maze? It must be a Curse of the Maze thing, right? And there's no way I don't have an item room on this floor. I'm going to be rather perplexed if I don't. It must be a Curse of the Maze thing. Which I've never actually experienced before, if that's the case. Let's go do the boss straight away. Do I want to do Devil Deal here? I'm not sure. I'm certainly tempted by it. I might just take a peek inside and see. Just because I've got the D6 and stuff, I might also get some good stuff out of this. My health is not bad right now either. Got a burn heart and turn everything. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, that definitely makes me want to go and do Devil Deal. Um, I'll take the Guppy item and I'll reroll the other. I'll take the Burner Baby as well. Why not? It's not it's not amazing, but why not? All right, back we go. So we do have an item room. You cheeky fucker. Hey, we get prank cookie as well. Lovely. We do like a prank cookie. It is a very, very good. We get our Emperor card back. That room's hippity hopping all over the place. I'm pretty sure I know where my secret room is when we get a bomb, so keep that in mind. Good amount of tear effects going on. Hey, there you go. I'm pretty sure it's right here. I'm not entirely sure, but... Aww. I, I, was, I was pretty confident. The L-shaped rooms always throw me off the... They change things. Do my tier affect my prank cookie tiers? They affect my, my lasers. It looks like they do based on the colours of the lasers, so that's pretty awesome. Nice. Arcade, I'll check out. I don't have a bomb, so it's not as valuable, but I'll check it out in case there's anything crazy going on. I will play you a little bit. Um... I would like to play up to 15 cent, but that would mean giving up some soul heart health, which I'm not really willing to do right now. By the way, I took a, I took the guppy's pride or whatever it's called because I'm just it's a, it's a chance at guppy. I don't really care about the item itself. Oh, mother's love, mother's love's very good. Um, mother's love, I think I have to take because of the uh, situation I'm in right now. So I'm gonna have to do some gambling here. Right, first of all, let me just go make sure I've not got any red health on the floor in here that I missed. I don't. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm just trying to think. I need three more hits. One. This would put us in a bad spot, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's it's sketchy. It's sketchy. But Mother's Love gives us a familiar and gives us a stat up for every familiar we have. We already have three and every floor we gain plus one from Guppy's Pride. It seems like an absolute no-brainer, right? We got Abel, unfortunately. But it put like our stats are in a way better spot now because of this. We just have to be very very careful in the next few floors. We only need a little bit of red health. We don't need a lot to get, bring us back into the, into safety. Yes, we do, we do indeed gain stats every single floor from uh, Guppy's Pride. That's the main reason I wanted to take it. Not only that we already have a lot to, to help with with, Guppy, uh, with uh, Mother's Love, but the fact that every floor we should gain a stat up now. Right, come on. All we need is a few red heart drops to be feeling, feeling back to the top and Back in the driver's seat.
There you go. We're, we're, we're golden, baby. We're golden. Yeah, Mother's Love is a, is a very good item in general, but when it's literally just constantly feeding you all stats up every floor, and obviously we might get even more familiars just off of the items we get in our item rooms and stuff, or devil deals or whatnot. It just puts more emphasis on familiars being valuable, so I don't mind that at all. You get out of here, you. Yeah, and we already have this many familiars as well. Okay, we're going to need a... Oh god, that was close. We're going to need a, a bomb, whenever possible, to crack that tinted rock open. Beautiful stuff. We'll go devil deal straight away here. Oh, well, boss, should I say, straight away. We have a, a rock there. Oh, hello. Who the fuck are you? Where the, where the hell did that guy come from? I genuinely don't know where that dude came from. I must have completely missed him. Blends in with the floor, man. We got ourselves that bad boy there. We'll take that for the speed up. And then you, good sir. Give us Krampus' head, which is good, because we can just do that. Gimpy's a pretty good grab as well. A lot more red hearts available. There's a bomb. Lovely. Small rock. Awesome. Okay. Glad I got that speed up now, because it alleviates the concern of the speed down we just received. A little bit of tear it. Quite a bit of damage. We've got cancer as well still. Oh, it's just... It's going good, baby. It's going good. I really think the first floor just sets the precedent for the run. If you can have a good first floor, if you can, if you can play the game on the first floor and get as much as you can out of it, it really sets you up for success. Um, I'll take Mystery Sack, you know. It's not amazing, but it is a familiar. Um, and on top of that, like... It's, it's extra stuff that we might end up needing. Oh, we've got, like, low keys and no bombs right now, so... Getting more of those could be useful. Another bomb here would be nice. Unfortunately not. Well, there you go. There's a bomb. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's another thing, like, stuff like familiars like that, which are normally pretty trash. They have another bonus attached to them. Now, the all stats up you get from Mother's Love is really nothing to write home about. It's not it's not a big all stats up at all. But that's not that's not really the point. I'm just playing out the rest of the floor here. Um there's potentially some extra bombs. Um maybe secret room if we can find it. But then also, if we can get enough money to make shop worthwhile, then we can go shop. There's another key though. Good stuff. Little mini Isaac, why not? Yeah, I can't believe we got our first crash today. Our first, like, game-ending crash, that is. When entering a room, one random enemy will be crippled. That's kind of useful, but not as good as what we've got right now. Obviously. Right. D6 is ready once again. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, good thing is we do have a Burnheart plus Gimpy, which makes sack rooms pretty goddamn good. Uh, so we can maybe play a sack room later on. Do you know what? I'll still check for a soul heart here. Unfortunately not. Got enough keys to make it work, so why not? Right. Uh, can't bomb that. Just keep going down. Ooh, I, th I think after this, I'm going to go for a nice walk and get some lunch. Because it is actually really nice out. Actually really nice out. For some reason at the minute, it's just, like, weirdly sunny. When in the UK at the minute, it's, it's generally very cold. And it, it has been the past few days and weeks. So it's nice to just have a bit of sun. It's not exactly warm, but it's sunny. So it's just like, take advantage while you can. Make hay while the sun shines, so they say. Um, and it means I can just go like, have my lunch in the park or something, which I did yesterday as well. And it was kind of nice. I've been listening to the um, the Parks and Recreation podcast um, with uh, Rob Lowe's, the host. And Rob Lowe is just such an interesting guy. He plays Chris Traeger in, um, in Parks and Recreation, if anyone's watched that. Um... And he's just, like, he's an absolute, like, Hollywood legend, as in, like, he's he he's met everyone and done everything. And it's just so interesting to listen to him, like, tell stories and stuff. Like, in the, in the last episode, he was telling a story about how he was smoking weed with Willie Nelson. <laughs> it's just, like, <laughs> amazing. Uh, Bird's Eye is obviously a great grab here. Quickly check out the arcade over here as well. Not a whole hell of a lot to gain from that, but, but, I will say that Demon Beggar does speak to me 
should Gimpy decide to pay out. If we can get some good payouts from Gimpy and a bunch of red hearts lying about, which isn't exactly out of the realms of possibility, I would definitely be down to play that guy. There's some pretty good stuff you can get from Demon Beggars. I mean, there's a heart already. I like the way the Bairn can shoot through through their skulls. I love that. There, there's a half heart there. Ow, that's a bad hit. Oh, Gimpy there. Straight in with the uh, extra soul heart. Gotta love it. More hearts in here, maybe? No. Luck pennies would be good right about now for our bird's eye as well. We can get some more luck. Or, like, give us, like, Golem Soul or whatever it's called. Ooh. Nice chunk of change there. I think we're in a very good spot here. Our run is is doing pretty incredible. But yesterday, I just, yeah, went to the park and I just had some sushi. It was nice. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Why not? And we'll grab the soul heart as well. We've got quite a lot of red hearts lying around now. Um, I'll do my boss first. The yeah, Red hearts galore here. I don't know how easy this guy will be, but if we get a bunch of fires on him, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Absolutely wrecked my guy. Range is obviously a reroll worthy thing right now. Um, What's this? Grants a passive item from the current room's pool and removes some heart containers after being fully charged without getting hit. Okay, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reroll this using my uh, my broken heart. And get more of the void, which I'll definitely take. Uh, and I'll reroll this. Ooh, that's interesting. I've not seen that before. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Why not? More of the void is, of course, just an amazing item. Um, and then we've got plenty of hearts about here, so let's uh, let's go and play that demon beggar at least a little bit. It might be quite a lot of back and forth here, but we have okay speed, so I don't mind it. Um, it's just going to be a little bit boring. And I realised, by the way, some people have said, "Oh, why don't you use good trip?" I just I don't know. I, like. I, I get the idea behind Good Trip, but personally, I think that backtracking is a huge part of the gameplay loop of Isaac. Like, the, the game is built around it. And I do realize that Good Trip makes it, like, it accounts for the time taken. Um, it, it Like, in the actual time of, like, boss rush and stuff. But still, I kind of prefer it on Atoral. And it's, like, it's the time that we can do our best chatting. Okay. That's four hits. We should probably just check the sack room as well, just in case there's um, a bunch of red hearts in here, because often there is. Unfortunately, not this time, though. Right, I'm going to do one more heart's worth, and then the rest I'll just pick up. I'm not going to spend loads on this guy. Normally, six hearts is not uh, normally a... a th three full hearts, sorry, six players is normally a half-decent payout ratio with this guy, so... Unfortunately, not this time. Um... I'll play this a little bit and see if we get anything. Got a card. It's a Temperance. Yeah, I'm going to take a Temperance. The Emperor card's nice, but I think I'd rather have a Temperance for some money down the line. Unfortunately, we didn't really get what we wanted out of that. Secret room. I'm not entirely sure about it. I thought it was here, but unfortunately it's not. I did check there, didn't I? Yeah, I bombed there, didn't I? Probably the Crook of the L again. Let's give it a go. Yeah, it always is. It always is. Got a bit of extra money there as well. Nice, nice for the next floor. And we are ready to escape. Go, go, go. Ah, I can't quite get the heart. That's fine. Right. Let us go. It'd be nice to get Candy Heart, actually. Candy Heart would uh, be a good addition on top of this. A library. Potentially kind of nice. Um, King in Yellow, I might take, because uh, the nightmares have changed now. Converse any trinket to a golden trinket on use. Oh my lord. Hell yes. <laughs> yeah, if we take a look at what this does now. The nightmares are very different, and they like fire like this. And I think that one will stick with us when we take our D6. Yeah, you'll be able to see how they work now. They're very, very different. So they fire up like this. The only they can only take damage while they're firing, um, and they fire up and like have homing shots. They're really cool now. 
Got quite a big herb haul. Golden pill. I will take a golden pill. Nope, I won't. It was literally just a half and that was it. But we did just manage to get a trinket golden and it's a very, very good one to get golden. So we're in a good spot there. I just remember I've got more of the void as well. I kind of forgot about that for a whole second there. More of the void is very good. The red heart there. I said temperance. We might be able to go hard with temperance on this floor, depending. Oh, that was really stupid of me. That little ghosty counts the familiar as well. Right. Do this. Do this. There you go. That's what I was looking for. And I fucking. Hey! Hey! Spike block. Fucking stop. I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you, alright. Eh. We don't have bombs, but I'm not really that interested in that unless they could get a lot of red hearts out of it. My money's looking really good right now, even without temperance. One second. Sorry, I thought I had someone knocking on my door, but I don't think there is anyone. Which must, might be next door. Who can I hear knocking at my door? Do, 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 do. Um, oh. Nah, we're okay, thanks. I, was, wasn't, I wasn't actually expecting to be able to destroy that poop from that distance. It was slightly confusing. Oh god, you had to spawn one of those guys right on me, didn't you, you dick? Um, okay, we got some potentially good stuff here. Right, okay. Chalice Familiar that gets filled up with blood each time you get hit. When moving to the next floor, gain devil themed rewards based on how many hits you took that previous floor, including a chance for devil deal items. Moving to the next floor with the chalice empty has a negative effect. This is tricky. This is tricky because Goathead's really good, but these are these are both familiars. And this one's also a revive as well. I'm gonna take the familiars. I'm going all the way with familiars here. And I will re-roll just in case there's anything amazing. Yes, Sinner's Heart is very, very amazing. We'll take that. Health is now in a bit of an awkward spot and my temperance no longer really matters, which is not great. But I am very happy with the items I now have. I have very, very good damage, very, very good fire rate, and I have Herbing Spectral, so I think we're in a good spot. And with their... Uh, with what's it called on top of it? Uh, conjoined. It's good stuff, baby. It's good stuff. Right, item room. Where art thou? It's just, yeah, I, I, like, it, it, it's just one of these things with, I think, with Modded Isaac. Playing, playing the game as much as you can in terms of, like, trying to get the maximum benefit you can. In a modded setup like this is just so valuable. I'm not saying the streaks are easy by any means. I think that... We're just being, we're getting quite lucky, but we're also making our own luck, and that is making it easier. I mean, I, I literally have Herming already. <laughs> no thanks, I'm full. I mean, technically we can pop this and then pop this. Got a golden penny out of it as well. There you go, baby. Um, I guess I re-roll. Weird, but like, there's literally Spoonbender does absolutely nothing for us apart from maybe open up a tainted treasure room. So I guess I just re-roll. Extra bomb there. I'm seeing our shop. Don't know why there's a Doctor's Remote in there. That's kind of interesting. I love those machines, by the way. Those machines were such a great addition to the game. Right. Let's re-roll. <sighs> no. <laughs> I hate dead weight. The fact that you have to throw it at the start of every room makes it really annoying. Should I quickly check for a battery charge? Didn't think so. Didn't remember there being anything in there, and that's why, because it was a boss fight. Right. Oh, where we go, people? Oh, where we go? 
didn't find secret room this floor anyways but i think i think th there's a there's a point where like you min max up until a point and then you, you hit kind of your critical mass and you know like at that point everything's chill and we are very much at the at the chill point now Very much at that chill point already. Good. This looks secret roomy to me. It's not. That's okay, though. Yeah, so now that we've got Sinner's Heart, Sinner's Heart's kind of a steamroll item. Because Sinner's Heart is literally the sacred heart of the Devil Deal. Like, that's, that's what it's meant to be, so... It's an incredibly strong item. The, if you can get Sinner's Sight as well, there's another item called Sinner's Sight where you, you deal extra damage to enemies that are feared, and I believe you get like piercing on top of it as well. If you get both of those at once, ooh baby. That's a, that's a real recipe for success. But you can see how quickly we're killing stuff now. Like The min-maxing is... is no, I'm, gonna say it's, I'm not going to say it's pointless, but it's no longer necessary, especially with the health we're currently on. I will grab the full card, just in case we make it in time here. We actually might. I gambled a bit here. Coming down, error. Cool. And we got rubber cement. I'll definitely take rubber cement, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Rubber Cement's an uh, amazing addition to this run. It's hard to see what's going on, I'll be honest, but... And what's, got, what's in here? Just a bunch of spiders. Yeah, rubber cement means we just can't miss anymore, so. It's mighty, mighty beautiful, the run that we have created for ourselves. I, I am wondering, like, I, I, I think genuinely the, the, the main things that are going to kill us is a really bad character roll or, like, a really bad, like, two or three flaws in a row in terms of items and HP. Extra vision's rather nice. We'll take that. We'll see what we get in our secret rooms. Nothing much of value here. Let's just go straight for the boss and see if we can find second secret room over there. Oh, also, rubber cement on our tech as well. I kind of forgot about that. Dude, the water bottle glitch thing where they just randomly spawn is very strange. Don't need them, right? Uh, whatever. Let's 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 just pop them all. Treasure disc. There you go. We got absolutely everything going on right now. All of the discs. For the next minute, we have an extra. What is it like? Fifteen items, which isn't isn't bad, I suppose. Whereas a lot going on right now, and it's it's kind of laggy. I don't really know what to think. It's not ideal, to be honest. It's not ideal. Like, I'd rather just be me. Have my normal stuff going on. Is it, um... What's the one with the bubbly shots? What that, what's that called? Pop? Is it Pop that we've got in the middle of all of this thing? It's Pop, isn't it? Remember when Pop the original was like billiard shots? That was nice. I like that. <laughs> Thematically, it still made sense as well, because, like, you don't know. Isaac's dad could have had a little lounge where he had a billiards table. We don't know. Nice. Right, easy floor there. Did it before our uh, tinted treasures and stuff even ran out. Let's see if I want to re-roll that. Slick spade, I'll take. I'll re-roll the other two in case we get something good. Johnny's Knives is pretty good. I'll take it, yeah. 
uh, it's a it's a little bit risky. It's a little bit risky with the HP, but I think we're, we're we've got such a strong build right now that why not take it? We don't need it really, but hello, good sir. Bit of speed up, nice. Bit of damage up, nice. Up There's more damage up. Boy's generous and another familiar. We're at 2.2 speed now as well because the high tops. Okay, there you go. That finally ran out. All the free trials are ending. We're back to normality now. Bit less lag, which is nice. Oh, we got a, a pentagram room over here. Which is pretty interesting. It's uh, one of the Mastema rooms that is very rare for some reason. Um, basically, we deal damage to ourselves to gain stuff. At the minute, we don't really care for that. Because I don't have a lot of HP to work with. Brainworm. I already have Hermings. So I don't exactly need it. But just shows to show how lucky this run is right now. Oh, we got a boss trap room there. I'd, I'd love to get some HP from a boss trap room. Squeezy would be ideal. Squeezy would be ideal. Nope, but that's, that's pretty good too. I will take some regular red HP. That makes me feel a hell of a lot better. Six hearts rather than five is just a world of difference. My god, blur. There was nothing you could have done, was there? Okay. Keep on trying to find the boss. But yeah, these runs are nice because I can just kind of like chit-chat with people. Yeah, I've been... I've been um, I was saying that like yesterday I just had some sushi in the park. I've been getting really into sushi recently. I used to be sort of like super dead against it. I mean, I'm still really against uh, raw fish sushi. I don't, there's this. I've I've had raw salmon before, and it was the most despicable, foul-tasting thing I've ever had the displeasure to put in my mouth. I don't know how anyone enjoys raw salmon, and so I can't imagine raw salmon in sushi or any other type of raw fish would taste great. It just it tastes like the smell of a fish factory. If you've ever walked past like a fish factory, it tasted like that smell. It was, and it, this, this was like high quality salmon as well. It wasn't even like, like bad or cooked in, I said cooked incorrect, prepared incorrectly. It was good stuff and it was still king awful. Okay, I'm going to reroll to see if we get anything that gives us HP. Nine lives technically does, I'll take nine lives. Um, and it's also a familiar. And I think we're just going to go... Yeah, and I just, I just, I'll never take, I'll never have raw sushi, but I've had like shrimp and shrimp tempura and katsu chicken sushi, and I'm really enjoying those at the minute. It's because I went to a place recently it's, uh, near me called Maki and Ramen. It's just like a really sort of high quality ramen place, and oh my god, it's amazing. That was pretty bad of me there. Luckily, Gimpy saved me and saved the day there. Um, yeah, it's just, oh, it, it really turned me on to it, because I used to just get ramen there, but I was like, oh, one time I get from was like, I'm just going to get some sushi, do you want to try some? And I tried it, and I'm like, this is definitely really high-quality sushi, because it's expensive. It's not always that expensive is high-quality, but this place is, is pretty authentic and stuff. So I was like, oh, yeah, do you know what? I'll give it a go. And I was like, oh, my God, this is very, very good. Good old bursting stack. Spider butt we can re-roll. Hello, you. Froze you and bled you. You didn't. Ha you didn't stand a chance, buddy. Didn't stand a chance. Give me that soul heart, thank you. Vasculitis. It kind of turned into a very similar looking, like slash shaped item. Also, Vasculitis was the um, was the icicle daily yesterday for you guys. For, it was today for me. But it was in yesterday's episode. Maybe I should always go with, like, my starting item should always be what the last day's item was. That'd be kind of an interesting way to do it. There probably is, like, a single most optimal item to pick for Isaacal. The same way that, like, with Wordle, there's specific items that are better to pick than others. I like runs like this, where you can just kind of fire a bunch of shots and then walk away. <laughs> Everything will kind of take care of itself. Mm. 
Boss, oh boss, where art thou? There you go. Found him pretty quick after I said that. Johnny's knives in there as well. All the status effects just stack up. I've not used more of the void in ages, by the way. I got it and I've just kind of ignored it. I'm sorry, Maw. I didn't mean to be so mean to you. Good old all stats up. What? I was just about to say, I thought that was IBS, and then I got IBS, and then I got Monstrous One. Look how similar all of these three look. I actually don't think I want any of them, to be honest. Hell trinkets will be automatically consumed at the cost. Fuck no. <laughs> You can stay away from me. And then Onk is whatever. Ain't no way I'm consuming this trinket. But we're in the Hearn stretch now. And yeah, this... We got so many stats for a Mother's Love. I'm so glad I gambled with that. Also, Gimpy payouts have been amazing this run. Gimpy payouts have been... All over the place. Oh shit! Didn't expect four of these guys. Alright, chill out. Cherry bomb. Bunch of extra items. Parasitoid, hell yes. But bomb's fine. Parasitoid is pretty top tier. Again, not that we need it. It's all it, it, this is all very uh over the top excess. Where's the other cage? He's just decided not to move. Oh, there's a black heart in that previous room as well, apparently. Ah, oh, I definitely need it now. Oh, but Gimpy paid out again, dude. I'm getting so lucky with Gimpy here. I don't think I've ever had such luck with it. I think I just walked directly into that heart, by the way. I don't even know where I am anymore. Little bit of a cherry bomb there as well. Oh, we're getting loads of these skulls. Look, this, this this item, I've had it a few times, but I always have it late in the game. That's a chance to spawn a skeleton on killing an enemy. is obscenely strong. The amount of skeletons it gives you is crazy. Look at the amount of charm skeletons we have. And charm skeletons, like, as far as charmed enemies go, are pretty goddamn good. I think we're close. I think we're close. <laughs> Come on, Haunt. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Look at him! The Bernies go. They're just wailing on this guy. Okay, I walked into that ghost. Gimpy paid out again. Dude, Gimpy is the most generous I've ever seen it. Boss time. I reckon this guy's going to get wrecked. I mean, unfortunately, we're, we're unable to actually physically dodge anything here because lag plus tears plus visual skeleton. I don't know. There's just too much going on. Did we actually skip a phase there? We almost did. I've never seen that happen before. Let me damage him. <laughs> I don't even know where he is. Okay, there he is, there he is. Last phase. It's too much for him to handle. Blue baby. Ain't nothing standing in my way now. I do like this new blue baby, but yeah. Sometimes he do get a bit wrecked. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'm sure to back out the room and come back in to stop the lag. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.